Hello and welcome back to episode 5 of Blockheads. Last episode I told you I'd done quite a bit of grinding with my be with my new beacon over the Christmas holidays. And look, this is just under my base. Absolute chunks of chunks of stuff cleared out. And so I've got quite a healthy stack of about 40 blocks of diamond. So that's... A lot of the grinding that I've done, I've done quite a bit in the nether as well. Let's see if we can get a hole and get up to the base, because I've done a little bit of work inside the base, just off camera. Because I haven't done quite a bit as much here for a while, I'm trying to find my way home. There we go. That's the direction. So, I have finally put a roof on my second floor, and done the roof in the bottom floor. I can't remember if I showed you that before, but look, just quickly, it's very quickly the same. The quartz slabs running out in the middle and sea lanterns in the, that spaced out. The chest monster has grown a little bit in the storage. That's my new super smelter. It's not the most efficient super smelter with carts going back and forth all the time. But it's very good for what I've got. So we run upstairs and we've got this floor done as well. The quartz and the, the lights. I just grinded away doing that today. And I think it's starting to look pretty cool. The next thing... It's a bit of a harder challenge flying in. I have cleared up all the edges, most of the edges here now. Around the top with the lights. I need to light up the top, but I'm going to clear this off and make this into the roof. I might put a tower on it, it might not be a functional tower, it might just be an aesthetic one just to add a little bit more to the to the base. But so pretty cool. I've cleared a little bit of the terracotta mountains around the base. I want to clear a bit more of this back these bits around the back of it to give it a bit more space and stand out in the red sand. Got a bit more farm going on at the moment. So, it has become a little bit more difficult to land in the bases. But, it's still doable. So, for next project is... I'm going to start building the circus tents for the Project Showman. The big circle tent that's going, that's going to host Ravagers. So, when I get brave enough to do that, it'll be chaos. Maybe even have a little fire answer and see some cool things. I do want to show you something stick and teacher worked on an absolute insane with a skeleton farm. You know what? We'll head over there next in just a moment. We're back here in the nether. I'm just going to show you this massive farm that stick and teacher have just been, have been building for probably the last month or so. Probably longer. I don't even know. In the nether. So we drop down. And this is a little entrance area. There's a fly out point here. We'll fly out. So they've basically made a wither skelly farm down there that we can see. It's got insane rates apparently. There's a bit of a path, but this is a whole this is the nether that they have deleted. Look at this place. So there's all their dupers. Look at the amount of dupers there. And this just goes on and on. I don't know how many chunks this is. That's where the dupers start and come back to. Some weather killing points on this right side here. But this is the area they've cleared out. Just look at it. You can see the odd block here floating. But that's just what they've missed. And it's not really detrimental to it. But as you can see, it's an absolutely humongous space. And. Ooh, you hit something. Look at that. There we are. And in here is the. Skelly farm. And all these chests. Let's just look at that coal. Look at the coal. Bones for days, sword, unnecessary stuff. Look at the skulls, just look at them. Absolutely insane. So, this 
This is incredible on the server. So they're going to, they've already sold so many beacons and the server's just getting back to speed a little bit after the Christmas breaks. I'm sure some of the stuff that goes on on the server, one of the most insane builds I've seen. Whoa, I've got to really be careful here. It is difficult to fly in here. Oh, right through. So I'll go off camera. I'll fly over to the Wither Skeleton Farm and I'll probably exit the Never off camera because I need to concentrate not to die and lose all my stuff. So here is a, a Wither Skelly killing station. Spawn him under and he gets trapped and you just hit him. We'll get over to now we'll head over to Project Sherman and get to building and working on our stuff. You just saw in the time lapse, we've got our big top. We're at the top of our lighthouse looking down on it. So let's flick around, turn around as the sun sets. Look at that. It's absolutely huge. It's a massive circle. It's a massive area. The sun's coming down. The roof, not quite what I wanted it to be. But it's starting to look cool. What I want to do is put, probably put another flag, a little bit similar. Possibly the same colours, maybe just more a streamer flag on top of there using fence posts that was just to mark the middle the roof's not quite as much as i want it but it is the color that i want it and it's looking pretty cool i think the roof's not perfect but as i said nothing's gonna be perfect so it's just gonna be fun so we'll jump down here and fly into the wow oh bit of a mob farm i need to clear some area that's the inside, that's a bit of scaffolding to get some stuff down inside. So we've got the big top done. It needs a bit of decoration, a bit of lighting up inside, and stuff like that. Hopefully put some like acrobatic stuff in there, maybe put, I might put a game in there, I might not. I might do that, so, actually I'll do that somewhere else, this is going to be aesthetic. We're going to put some seats around the middle. I've just decided, so put some seats around the, around the sides put a ring in the middle I might catch a ravager and put him in a cage just so there's something to look at but it's looking pretty cool so far this is a tutorial I found online I need to find it again I'm gonna add some like leads to like, tie it down with some things oh someone's having a read <laughs> fighting the vex so I'll finish up the tiny details and show you it again another time but this area is coming along we've got a big top we've got our, a lighthouse we're really cracking on now so i need to get inside and tight light it up and fix all the little bits and pieces for now we're going to head over to the base right now because i've done a lot of work and i i'm even close to considering calling my base finished 
I've just been doing a lot of stuff offline. Off off camera, I mean. Offline, off camera. Same thing. It's hot on one server. I am losing my mind. So head over there. Here we are. Back in the base. Last time we were here, I showed you that I'd done like these roofs and stuff. Now we'll fly out and see what I've done to finish up the base. I've done the roof and everything. So let's a bit of light. There's a portal that's messing up. Now we got fly out and we'll spin. Look at that. Put a massive tower on it lined with diorite to match the top. Oh, blackstone. Sea lanterns behind the panels. And there's the three, bi three biomes of trees. Just add a bit of flavour. And what I've done is mine back these mo this mountain here. And all this area was mined. And cut this mountain back quite a bit. Just to give it a little bit more space around the base. To make it pop out a little bit more. And we'll try and land on the distance. It's not the best view. Let's fly around here. Well, that's most of the base. I think that's pretty much... I'm calling my base pretty much done. Most of my stuff's going to be over at Project Sherman now. I've got a speed beacon inside for when I'm running around in my base. I like the trees and stuff. It gives it a little bit of colour and a bit of life. Considering we're in the middle of a barren mesa de de desert. So, let's just land here. Yeah. So, got quite a bit done. And that will probably do it for today. I need to fix that. I'm all fixing it. There's little details I need to fix, but that's probably it for today. Womp. And died. <laughs> that was stupid of me. But, I'll see you next time. <laughs>